So you might be trying to figure out how you can turn off RCS messaging on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, doing this is actually fairly basic. If we take a look at the actual Google page on how to turn off RC messaging, now this is basically for Google Messages. So if you're using anything other than Google Messages, it might be a different process, but you should be able to still do it. So on Google's own website, they tell you to open up your message application. They tell you to type in or just tap on the more options, then go into settings, then click on RCS chats, and then they tell you to turn off RCS chats. Now, if we follow those exact same you know, instructions, so when we're here, we basically come into our settings panel. So we can click in the top right in this case and click on message settings. If we come here, based on Google's own response, they actually say that there should be a little RCS chats option. Now, personally for me, I do not see the RCS chats option here because I do not have a SIM card installed in this phone and I didn't have it activated. So on this panel, you should be able to see that. And from there, you should be able to disable the RCS chat features that we have basically right here. So here you can see that there is a little turn on RCS chats option. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure that is basically turned off. Now under chat features, which is this little panel right here, you might be able to see that there could be an option like that here. For example, enable chat features. You might want to go ahead and just turn that panel, that little option off too, because it looks like with this specific new feature, use Wi-Fi data for matching when available, it looks like for this specific feature, it may have moved now for Google's own page. So if you're on an older version of Google Messages, that's where you want to go. But for everyone else, you can just go under the chat features option, which is right here. So click on chat features. And this first option right here, you basically just want to go ahead and disable. So it'll basically do the same thing. You can configure all these other things too if you want to. But that's basically the main thing you want to go and try doing. So that is basically how to do it on your Samsung phone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.